guys and welcome back to our station approved. Today we're going to look at how to set up a stick insect enclosure. But before we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. First we start by buying our enclosures. Now an enclosure like this one is around $100, but there are cheaper. First we start by putting paper towel on the bottom so it's easier to clean out when the time comes. Now I'm going to add this moss to keep the enclosure hydrated. You don't have to add the moss but it just helps a bit and stops having a hard floor for the insects. I'm now making a bit of a hole in the middle to put the water container. This is a water container that you can have. You can use jars and stuff, but I just prefer these. I'm now adding leaves that I've collected from gum trees around the place into the water. The water will keep them fresh so they stay fresh for longer for the stick insects. These leaves are usually gum leaves, but they can be different types of leaves. I suggest getting the leaves from different types of trees and seeing what trees your stick insects like the most. Now I put the leaves into the enclosure and just spread them out a bit so the stick insects can climb all over the enclosure. I'm now gonna get them out of the container. Now these are stick insects that I've already had and I'm just resetting up their enclosure. If you buy them, they'll usually be a lot smaller because my stick insects have grown since I've gotten them. But they're not fully grown yet because they can get up to around 20 centimetres. I'm now just going to put them on some leaves in the enclosure. You do have to be really careful with these guys. You don't want to force them to walk. You want to let them walk on you. Now I'm going to spray the leaves with a little spray bottle. I just got a cheap little travel bottle from a local shop but you can get any sort of spray bottle as long as it's never had anything but water in it before. This here is my little escape artist. I always have to be careful that they're fully in the enclosure before I shut the door but this one always manages to get back out before I have time to shut the door. And there you have it. That's how to set up a stick insect enclosure. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helped you learn a little something about setting up a stick insect aquarium. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on our station approved. Bye.